It's not every day that I come to a new piece of music that I want to spotlight on this channel, and I get to offer a declaration that I know the artist personally. Many of the artists that, I think actually all the artists I've given, or artists or music groups that I've given recognition to on this channel in regards to my music related coverage, I have never met them personally. I've got a couple in the works that are coming that I have been to their concerts. I don't think I, they'll ever, no, maybe I have met a couple on occasion. It's rare, but at this point, I've never been able to offer that statement. Chit chat. This is a bit different in that I know both of the artists, so. I come from a very unique position on this one in that, you know, I'm very familiarized with the talent, but not under the Chit Chat name. I'm wondering if this is similar to other side project models that are persistent within the Christian music scene. Let me say, for example, Demon Hunter, you know, big uh, Christian metal group, if you're not familiar. They've been around for about two decades. Ray, uh, Ryan Clark, their frontman, did a side project with, I forget the guy's name, the lead singer of Project 86, another pretty big uh, Christian rock group called Knives. And whereas Demon Hunter is more known for a heavy metal side uh, to their music, Knives was more electronic, techno. It was very different, but it was really unique. But it was a side project, right? It was very distinct from what Ryan Clark is more known for in regards to Demon Hunter's work. I'm wondering if Chit Chat is the same. I'm going to queue up the track in a minute. We're going to watch the music video, but I don't know Chit Chat by Chit Chat. I know Chit Chat by About the Offer. That was the original group that uh, Mark Shiner and Derek Overton were the, well, the only people uh, involved with, really. But that's the group that emerged out of my hometown where I grew up, or maybe close to that. I forget exactly where it was in terms of what city, but eh, it was close enough. So I've known... I've known about the offer for a pretty long time, and I was actually I had the experience of being at some of their concerts. I was at their uh, farewell tour when they left uh, Washington State for Tennessee, and then they came back. I think about a year, or two years after, I forget, to another a local church in a, a city close to where they originally performed. And I got to see them again. Very talented musicians. I have, I think I have both their early albums with um, about uh, under the out about the offer attribution and they even got some recognition for a collaboration they did earlier on of maybe well-known talent as sometimes you see emerging uh, artists do you know they had the I think the lead singer at the time from Hawk Nelson uh, for a, a better life I think there's the name of the song I've I need to go back and listen they're sitting on my phone right now I just actually dug it out of my uh, closet I recently went on an, up, an iPhone update playlist. Boy, that took about three days of my time. That was an arduous process, but I'm finally caught up on updating my music library, and I'm surprised at how much art or music I really had, because I forgot about many of the names that I've carried with me, and many of the CDs I have, in fact. Um, but about the offer was one. And I really liked to, I really loved their you know group back then. It was kind of along the lines of a contemporary Christian for the most part. Fun live experiences, but Derek Shiner and Mark, or, no, Derek Overton and Mark Shiner Great talents. So the chance to see some of their newer work, and I understand I'm a bit late in covering this, so apologies, but I'd love to spotlight talent that perhaps, in this case, is talent I'm familiarized with already in regards to what I've seen the artists do previously, but lesser known talent, right? Unknown art. This is what I love spotlighting on this channel, especially when it comes to music. I love doing music coverage on this channel. It's a mainstay that I've wanted to make more of a mainstay for many years, and I have it in comparison to some of the other art forms I, I've covered on this channel. Music for me is, is something I'm very passionate about. I mean, I like those of our art forms as well, but each expression style is very different from one another. And music has spoken to me in many ways that are uh, pertinent experiences or permanent experiences I'll carry with me throughout my life. The range of what music can do for you, both on the entertainment level or just as a cathartic uh, uh, agent that you can spend time with and interact with, it's an invaluable experience. And I, I treasure music quite uh, uh, heartedly. In spotlighting lesser known talents, that I say lesser known in the respect again of people that are in my social circle. It's usually how I judge familiarity with artists. No one, well some people obviously know about the offer because I mean they were around my hometown so I'm familiar with it. I haven't talked to, I don't know, I need to get back in touch with people. I'm so isolated. But <laughs> Uh, since those years. But then no, nobody really that I hang out with now knows about the offer. I'm pretty sure. Maybe some do. And I just haven't asked. But I'm pretty sure nobody knows Chit Chat. I'm again curious to see if this is an extension, like a, like a side project model. I don't know. Maybe you know, this is sort of a, a new leaf. Maybe this is kind of a transition process. I'm not exactly sure. But I love spotlighting talent that, again, is lesser known in audience, but 
perhaps deserves to have a higher recognition. This is why I like to spotlight, I love spotlighting art that is, again, lesser seen in, in uh, um, audience scale, but deserves a grander showcase. And just spotlighting, you know, and helping talent emerge, if I can do that in any way, again, talent that I think deserves to be elevated, I love doing that. In this case, I can speak to artists that I've already seen previously and that I'm very familiar with and deserve that grander uh, showcase from what they already have about the offer. Let's go ahead and look at uh, talking to myself. I have the official video pulled up. And of course, if you're not familiar with how I format my music-related coverage, I will provide the lyrics for you as we go through. If you'd like to read along with the narrative of the piece, that dimension of a song will be available to you. But I've been waiting to cover this one for a pretty long time. It's been on my radar. So, again... I'm familiar with these artists, so I, I'm interested to see, though, where Chit Chat's going. This is a bit different, at least from what I'm theorizing here. Okay, it's got that softer sound about the offer, did. Um... I feel alone in this struggle Like I built a home in this bubble <laughs> and Now it's all down the rubble it's got more of an electronic pop vibe. That's that's a bit different. My mind is all sorts of trouble now. And my pride is very humble. It's been hard to talk about it, so I'm sorry if I mumble. Tell me I'm not just talking to myself. Oh, okay, wow. That's good. Very engaging piece. I do have broad taste, by the way. I've said before on this channel, I'm not always the biggest electronic music fan, but this is good. Or pop fan, but I make special exception where it's deserved. I love the staging of this, by the way. I'll talk about that more after. It's a great choice. Speaking of the psychological emphasis of the video. Very effective transitions in that part. Good choice to make that distorted. It's a good piece. Again, like I said, a really good set choice. It's a nice outro strum, too. Just a simple effect, but it's, it works really well. Yeah, yeah, good finisher. That is a great piece. I would love to see more of their music going forward. I think Chit Chat, it is different from About the Offer. Uh, slightly, you know, that's, I'd say About the Offer has that, if, if you're familiar with Christian contemporary music, especially what you hear on the radio, it has that sound that is adjacent to a lot of tracks that have come before from other groups. I'm not speaking, I'm not trying to suggest like, oh, you know, about the offers all just familiar. No, they've got some unique uh, uniqueness to them. Again, I, haven't, I need to go back and listen to their music. It's been years since I saw them perform live. Chit Chat is different, though. The pop electric, or er, electric, <coughs> wait, wait, that was a butchering of a pronunciation. The electronic side to this 
which I'm not always, I have very selective tastes. Um, it depends on the artist. When it comes to pop music, like, you know, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the mainstream stuff that, let's say, is more centric in the Hollywood vein. Independent artists, it's a bit different. Um, and the electronic side, this... It depends on the group, and it depends upon the melding of that instrument into the piece. I've spoken before, some of the groups along the electronic metal line have appealed to me because it's a mixture of sound. It's not necessarily EDM style. EDM, it's a bit too frenetic for my liking. Um, and it has, the music has to have some atmosphere and some character and some room to breathe. And so for me, again, I'm very selective in what I like along the electronic side. But electronic metal, let's say, for example, just a couple groups by name, as I said, Knives, this really is like a cyber. It's basically kind of the same model as I was theorizing. Uh, but Knives, Starset, MNQN, uh, MNQN is much more electronic. MNQN and Knives are kind of similar to this in sound, I think, specifically. Um, even crossing uh, international borders, Dead by April. Those are a couple exceptions. Uh, Dead by April, Swedish uh, basis. So again, I, I go way out there in regards to the music I venture into. I have broad tastes. But that's, again, that, that's more along the metal lines, but I'm trying to draw a parallel here with ele electronic music, because I am very particular. This works for me, not just because I know the artists, <laughs> and I'm already familiar with their talent to a degree, but I, this is different, you know, I, some of the tracks that they released previously didn't have this um, sound to them, at least from what they performed in the two church uh, uh, um, events that I uh, attended, but they're good. Um, great vocals on part of Derek oh, and, and uh, Mark. Both of them, I think, are great compliment. I did like the distorted audio effect and how that plays in the psychological aspect of the track. The therapy setting, with, I mean, the, I didn't even think about the couch. I didn't register. It's this environment here. It definitely works, I would say, for um, artists definitely trying to become bolder on the scene, right? It seems... I mean, I don't know what this costs. I would imagine it's a little more inexpensive, though, to maybe film for a day in a storage facility. But the combi er, combined, the confined nature to it, and how that is attributed to the therapy setting, right? And the visual here of having the singer, you have Derek in both places, sort of as the patient and the counselor, or the clinician. Everybody knows that type of model, right? That speaks to the general uh, therapy setting that people are familiarized with and what people expect when they go in to see a clinician for whatever topic it might be. Even the couch setting kind of gives that away. But I love how that atmosphere with this more confined space plays into that therapy illustration. It's just such a beautiful compliment. And it's, it's well, the confined aspect, I've seen it modeled in other places quite well, especially when it plays into the message of the piece. Uh, let's say, for example, Icon for Hire, another favorite of mine, Hollow. Love that song. It's one of my favorites by them. And that one also played of a therapy illustration differently. Again, it was a much, uh, it was, it, well, nah, even the scope of that one is a bit more confined. It was, it was different, though, in its illustration. This has a much more specific approach in that you have a stationary camera that wasn't present on the icon for higher video by comparison so that is different and then you sort of have this jump cuts in between with you know the artists in different positions sort of again illustrating the concept of the therapy uh, uh articulation of the song or the message of the piece is trying to strive for beautifully written lyrics by the way very engaging um especially on that second chorus i forget what exactly he said i'm gonna try and pry the line out here i really like those background touches though when uh, uh mark pops in again small jump cuts but when you sort of, I, I guess the conscious voice, is that kind of the image they're trying to go for? I wonder if it is. I th would think so. The delivery as far as it's written, I think is very sufficient to illustrating that therapy model. It's this line right here where he says, my emotions got no ceiling. I keep the house. I don't have the lyrics pulled up on a different page. I'm kind of going off of a listen here. Um, I'll have that corrected when I approach the editing the video so that they're, they're specific for you. Well, obviously you've seen them at this point. But I keep the house... What does he say? I leave the house, keep it up to all my demons or something like that. Again, there, there's some familiar points that this song makes in comparisons and in certain identifiers that are present in other therapy, mental health-centric songs. 
but I think it works. I think it's sufficient. Again, the delivery work, it, the vocals are great as well. I, again, I'm going on familiarity here, so I already knew what to expect kind of going in on that level. But this is a really dynamic piece. Again, I don't know how well uh, Chit Chat is known yet at this point. They seem still like their version is sort of like, you know, about the offer was, you know, when they started with that. But I would love to see more of their work going forward. Not just because, again, I would love the experience of maybe seeing them live, you know, doing something a bit different from... Again, I would love to see about the offer. Again, I need to go back and consult their, their, those original pieces because it's been a while, admittedly. But I like this pop vibe. I do. It's not often I listen to pop electronic music. So it's rare exception. I'm much more a metalhead. But I like this. It's a good piece. And this is the type of music, you know, for me, like I said, music can be quite cathartic. It's stuff about mental health and therapy. This really speaks to me. Just in a lot of what I've been through. But I, I think the illustration to it is so sufficient. Again, the styling of it in this confined storage room setting or facility fits so well. And there are the clear identifiers and like the couch and the therapy situation. It all works sufficiently. The door opening and closing is a beautiful visual to to uh, develop the video. And you, it's a good cue. Really good piece. I would love to see more work going forward from uh, both Derek Overton and Mark Shiner, in this case, with Chit Chat. I think it's a... I don't know if... Again, maybe, you know... I, I don't know what the status is about the offer. I'd have to look into that. But if Chit Chat's the new one going forward, over it's a side project of a new group and intention, I'm liking what I'm hearing. What are your guys' thoughts of Chit Chat? And I hope for some of you, maybe some of you already know who this group is, and I, you know, may, I would imagine, again, it's going to be much lower scale in number, admittedly. But I hope that for most of you, this is a good first introduction. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Again, like I said, I can speak to about the offer's talents, but I didn't know what to expect in the, going in with Chit Chat. Equally as promising. I love spotlighting groups like this, especially groups that, again, I haven't been able to talk about this in the past, in this case, but groups that I know, or people that I know. Talented artists. I've had a couple others that, um, well, I know for one, I've got them on the list. So this won't be the last one I talk about, you know, familiar talent to me and people that I've met, you know, face to face. But I like what I'm hearing from Chit Chat. I would love to see more of their work going forward. And if there is such an opportunity for that. I will be showcasing more on this channel, I'm sure. But talking to myself is a good piece. Highly engaging listen. Again, I'm not usually, you know, a big pop electronic music fan, but I make exception where I feel it's deserved. And with Chit Chat, it's good. I like it. It's a good piece. Solid video. Solid talent. Much lesser known. And as I said, deserves to be spotlighted. Loved it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.